Hello, welcome to Rosebank Farm. In this video, I'd like to talk about how we plant our garden, how we decided what to plant, and where I'm going to plant it. We decided to do a family garden this year in combination with my daughter's family because on their property, they're surrounded by woods and a lot of trees and they don't get a lot of sun. So we just decided to combine our efforts and put the garden in up here at my house. So the first thing we did was kind of get everybody's opinion on what they wanted planted in the garden. And I'll show you the seeds that we decided on. Um, we did discuss, I like fresh broccoli, but last year when we grew broccoli, it had a lot of worms in it. So broccoli was voted out this year. So um, I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'll show you the seeds that we decided on. So we decided on um, watermelon. Here is a pea, um, several different kinds of beans, some lettuce, carrots, some more beans. Um, my youngest daughter requested corn, so I have some sweet corn here. Um, my grandsons wanted cucumbers because last year my husband made homemade pickles and they loved it. And we're also going to grow some cantaloupe. So here's a quick sketch of my garden um, as if you were walking in through the arbor gate. So the first thing, I have um, three raised beds. I already have onions and garlic and in this third raised bed, I, I have extra brick. I was thinking I could divide that third raised bed in half and do lettuce and spinach. So I already have, uh, the T stands for tomatoes. Those tomatoes are already in the ground. H2O melon, I wanted um, beside the corn and the tomatoes because um, the watermelon, when we've planted it in the past, it really spreads out. So I want it to have plenty of room and it can go in between the corn. Then we'll do the cucumbers, cantaloupe, they can just intermingle as their vines grow. Then maybe some peas. Um, I got my strawberry planters in. Um, there's three zucchini here at the end. Um, and then outside of the garden, I have um, three blueberries. They're not outside of the fence. They're just outside of what we have tilled. And then we'll finish off with as much green beans as we can fit in here because beans, green beans were the biggest uh, request. So anyways, this is the plan and I just drew it out on the back of an envelope. So we're gonna start planting the garden by getting this raised bed um, ready. And you can see I have onions, that's my garlic, and I think we're going to split this in half and plant the lettuce and spinach in here. It's okay. So I placed some bricks just to divide this um, bed in half and now we're gonna plant the spinach and lettuce seeds. All right, so we have the spinach planted. I did five and then I put the extra one um, back there. I was worried that if I put it up here, I was worried it wouldn't get enough sun. So I did put the sixth one. Doesn't look too good, but hopefully um, it'll get enough sun in that spot. We're going to plant the lettuce now. It's called So Easy Pelletized. Um, you can see there, um, lettuce seeds are really, really tiny, but they've um, coated them in that pinkish red stuff um, to make them easier to handle. So on the back here, it says you're going to plant one fourth of an inch um spacing half inch apart and then you thin them when they reach four inches tall so we're just going to um, make like three small lines there's a big tarantula there's a big spider so i'm just going to draw a line in the dirt with my trowel and then we'll just drop them in try to be a half an inch apart and then lightly cover them with soil
Okay, so here's a close-up view of the two rows of lettuce seeds. They kind of show up really good because they're pink. And then I'm just going to lightly move um, the dirt over top of it. So the watermelon we've chosen is Bush Sugar Baby. Planting at a depth of one inch and we'll put probably about five or six seeds in and then um, when they come up we're going to thin them to three plants in a hill. Okay, count five seeds. Okay. Put some back. Okay, just drop those in the hole that you dug. The five, not the three. That's all right, do three and then count four, five. Okay, save those for the other one. Now we just lightly cover those up and that's it. Now let's put a rock on them for now so we know where I forgot to grab popsicle sticks. Just move the dirt aside. Good enough. You got five? Yeah, I got five. Okay, put them up here by your sister's foot. Up okay. here. Yep. Okay, and just lightly cover them up. That's it. And let's get our ring of stones right around where you planted them. Yep, dig. Just scrape off some dirt. No, don't chop. You're scaring me. Like that? Yep, just like that. Okay, and now we need five more seeds. Yep. Okay. Grandma, I'm doing another trick. Woo. Grandma, Mama. watch me do Okay, this. cover this those up lightly. Whoa, I think There's that's too there. many. We'll plant a fourth hill over here. Okay. Okay. There's still more in there. Alright, nope, that's it. Not too deep. Not too deep. Okay, so we have four pile four watermelon mounds. One, two, three, and four. I'm gonna count out three corn kernel seeds and drop them right at the end of the ruler. You need some help, baby girl? Yeah, they're upside down. Okay, we got three. And then lightly cover them up. Okay, now move the ruler. It's going to start right here. Now that's where you planted them. Okay, so three seeds. Cover them up. Now put the ruler exactly where it ended. See where you ended it? There, you did it right. Okay, move on down. Okay, move the ruler. Yep, that's it. Move the ruler. Okay, and I think we can get one more and then we're getting... Are you serious? That worked out perfect and I just dumped them out in your hand. So the next thing we're going to plant are cucumbers, um, especially ones that we can make into pickles. And on the back, they get planted one half to one inch deep and we're just gonna sprinkle them down the row and then we thin them after they sprout. All right, let's plant. Hold it. Good. Yep, so measure with your hand and then go ahead and space them. Like 
perfect. And then we'll just do that down the whole row, and then we'll cover them up. Let's say I got it. Look at him covering those up, real, real light. The next thing we're planting in our garden is green beans and we decided to do a whole bunch of short rows that'll make it easier for us to weed. Um, this is a type of bush bean and if we look on the back, it is planted uh, um, same as the cucumbers, one half to one inch deep and then we thin it to four to six inches. All right, so let's get the beans in the ground. Yep, so that's our first row of green beans going in. Move on down the row. Almost done. You're doing great. It's been a couple weeks since we planted the garden, and so I wanted to give you a tour of what's going on in the garden, some of my successes, and some of our failures. So this is the entrance to my garden. Um, there's a Zafreen Drow and Rose there that the goats ate. It's making a comeback. And there's the one on the other side. And this is my arbor. Um, so this, let me step back here. This is the entrance to my garden. So mostly it's um, for looks, but it also does keep the goats out of the garden. So let's go in and take a look. We come up. Um, we have to reach over the fence, have the little latch here to open up the gate. And then we're going to start here on the left. Um, these are rows of carrots. I think there's five rows of carrots and you can see that they're coming up. See there are the feathery growth right here. These are the carrots. So we've got five rows there. Next to the carrots, I had built um, many, many years ago a three brick compost um, piles. And the idea was that you would fill up, like say the compost on the left, you would fill that up and then you would leave it alone and just stir it for three months while you were filling up the middle one. And so then you had a rotation. Well, I would throw kitchen scraps in here um, and we ended up with rats in the chicken coop. And after that, I was like, we're not having this open bin style of a compost where we live. So now I have a compost tumbler that I add my kitchen scraps to. And um, we'll get there in a second. So um, this is now a raised bed planting area. So in this one, I have onions. And you can see there's one kind of up out of the ground, but that's a good one there. Um, so I have the onions in here and we are harvesting garlic. It's been raining a lot. You can still see how wet it is in there. Um, I told my grandkids we needed to go on a garlic treasure hunt and we found those. They're rather small. I was disappointed in the size, but um, so we still need to dig around in there and see if we can find um, some more garlic. And on this one, um, let me raise this up. I divided it into two. See the brick there? Um, the left side was supposed to be lettuce, but none of it sprouted that I could tell. And on the right, this is spinach. And we've been eating that with um, taco salad on our um, sandwiches. And then I'll um, mix it up in a smoothie. Next to the spinach is a thornless blackberry bush, and this died back 
um, last winter. I thought it was completely dead, but I did not remove the rootstock. And so this is what is growing from the rootstock. It doesn't appear to have any berries on it this year, but we'll let it go and see what happens. So this is my compost tumbler. Um, this is kind of like the junk corner. Um, I've learned over 30 years of marriage that when my husband brings home things like these metal pipes, I don't know what they are, um, he'll usually make something really cool. And, and then um, alongside the road, people were throwing out tomato cages. They were rather rusty, but my husband gathered them up and brought them home. And the tires are for an experiment next year. Um, I've seen um, some videos and different things about growing potatoes inside of tires. So um, my husband got me some tires and we're going to try that next year. So just the outside here is my little garden gate, um, which is really fun to go in and out. And so then we'll start here in the garden. There is um, some peas right in front of the tomatoes. There are six tomatoes here and they've really filled up that space good. Um, these two plants are watermelon and um, I didn't even, I thought we just had this bigger patch of watermelon and then my granddaughter that I'm doing the 4-H project with, um, she recognized the leaves and found the second patch. Now the sad thing is, if I turn this way, there were supposed to have been um, four along here and so we had a lot of trouble with germination this year. So out of the four watermelon mounds, we just have the two. And so here's a random corn stalk. Um, don't know why it's there, but we'll let it grow. And then really disappointed. See the corn right there? We had a lot of trouble with germination. I replanted and so we do have some baby corn right there. Not that one, that and those on there so we do have some corn that germinated from the second planting but overall if you look at my rows of corn um, we had some trouble with germination and this was new seed this year moving on to the garden beside the tomatoes we have let me see two four six rows of beans and um, so we had really good germination for these two rows. And then these middle ones didn't germinate that well. And then the last row by the zucchini germinated. The seed we used for the beans was seed that we got um, two years ago at the county fair. Rural King had a booth, a tent, and we're giving away free seed. So we've been saving the seed for two years and we did soak it briefly um, before we planted but look at the zucchini we got three big zucchini at the end of the garden and then we have three i believe these were the cucumbers no no these are the cucumbers okay these are the cantaloupe we have three cantaloupe mounds so one two Three. and there's nothing planted here because I figured we would um, guide the vines the cantaloupe and the zucchini to fill in this whole space here so that's open and I till it with my little tiller um, okay so then then we're back to the corn again um, up along the edge there um, there is a row of sunflowers you can see that um, I did space the rows far enough apart that I can get my little electric tiller in between the rows and that helps a lot with weeding. Um, I do have to sit down and hand weed um, the rows of the plants but in between I can just till and that makes maintenance in the garden so much easier. We do have a bigger tiller that my husband uses in the spring um, a couple of times and in the fall to put the garden to bed. But that one is so big and so heavy that when it hits a rock or something and it jumps, it just really jerks me and hurts. 
So I don't like to use the big red tiller, but my little electric one I can use just fine um, for regular maintenance and keeping the garden looking nice during the growing season. Now these are my strawberry planters. Um, I'll have a video coming out soon on how um, my brother made these. But um, basically there's the two posts with um, PVC pipe cut in half suspended in between. Now there are four and um, I was not able to get Quinault strawberries this year. Um, so the, I'm saving that top um, half pipe for the Quinault strawberries next year. But we've been eating these already. Every day the grandkids come out and have been eating them. So we have more coming, look at that. So these ones are Merlins. I believe the next ones are Jewels. Jewel and the bottom ones, All Stars. And um, so they're doing really well here. Um, some of them are ever bearing and some of them are June bearing. So the Merlins are ever bearing um, because they're still flowering and um, we will have more strawberries. Oh, look at this one. There it is. Well, we've already harvested and eaten one zucchini. Um, so we're excited about that. But in the um, southwest corner of the garden, I have three. New Jersey blueberry bushes and every day the grandkids are asking are the blueberries ready and it looks like they almost are. Here's one last view of the three blueberry plants. So here's um, the one, two, and three New Jersey blueberries. Um, in the future if these do well I would think I would like to go ahead and plant more blueberries all along um, the fence line there and uh, just fill that up because we are eating the blueberries and strawberries just as fast as they get ripe. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tour of our garden and how we planned and planted and how it's growing along. I hope you have success in your own garden. Um, please leave any comments below or any questions and I will try to answer them. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, <laughs> you're a little close to the camera. What are you guys doing?